Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough here, where, if you remember last time, we had a mission to head to the Silence of Margaret. Um, now, I've, I'm going to be honest, I've been a bit cheeky guys, I've probably taken too long, I've always done this really quickly, so I wanted to see what happened if I didn't, if I took my time, so we'll see what happens if I actually do still get to save the ship, or if it actually does impact you. I've also been to Footfall to, uh, to do some trading with the people I wanted to for my mission. And I've, I've got a few places I've got to go as well. Uh, <laughs> got a few events on my colonies happening as well. So we've got lots of stuff to do this session. Anyway, first of all, let's go to Verbos. So, um, obviously we could still do the Navy. I'm not going to do the Navy one. Um, you know, purchasing foreign criminals. We're not going to do that. Punish the outsiders. So, if everybody is taken from foreign worlds. Is this... Wait. Is this prisoners? I'm not going to ask any questions. It gives us more people, which is the key thing I wanted here. Uh, it gives me the most pe extra people, so let's do that. And Darkness has leveled up. Oh, there we go. Uh, Lord Captain, we have received a report from Darkness. Some common folk have from the now ruined Scipion 84249 have succumbed to heresy of defiance forming into engine vandals gangs we have necromunda going on <laughs> they now ride amongst the wasteland on wasteland adapted cleaning goliaths they have declared themselves outside the law and law riding hives outskirts only to escape retribution in the toxic wastelands Despite your act of grace, these ungrateful heretics are fleeing the hives, abandoning their workstations, and inciting others to do the same. Even They even dare to spread their lies and slander, stating they are being used as slaves. So great are the appetites of yesterday's refugees. Rumour is that the Brigadier clan, in charge of a debris removal from the ruins of Skibron, keep in contact. We could pass your words to the renegades via the brigadiers, or force them to disclose the location of the rebels. Uh, I want to hear what my um, advisors have to say. If the engine vandals have managed to tame the ancient machine spirits, then that means they are technomats or even tech. There are technomats or even tech priests amongst their ranks. That renders them negotiable. It would e it would be efficient to utilize such renegades instead of disposing of them. Promise a reward for every piece of technology found in the wasteland of Darkness and returned back to the dynasty will ensure their obedience and traceability. If you wish to exterminate the land attacked, do not waste your time on hunting them down. Instead, deceive them into defeating each other with a prize, a weapon or a trophy they can fight for it. After all, Monkai, after the Monkai have finished slicing each other up, uh, the right to obtain it, you and your warriors shall finish the deed. The aristocrats of Dargonus despise them, but they are also secretly afraid of them, correct? Renegades that can invoke such fear, I wonder. If I had exiles like that on my home, I would have curbed their ambitions. Would it have curbed the ambitions of my brothers and sisters? Hmm... Bravo, Lady Kazia. Do not be ashamed of, of unique abilities bestowed upon your heritage. You, they know your birthright. Hmm. Uh, the Omnisire. Use, serve the acquisition of knowledge. Ah, we lost profit factor. Boo! I don't like anything which makes us lose profit factor. But these block each other, don't they? So, Season of Wars. Uh, I have blocked because I'd have needed to do this one. Oh, wow. That would have given me lots of people.
Uh, debt to Zabitis. Gives me lots of extra security. Boots of victory. Uh, or profits for water. Um, or we can keep doing some stuff down here. Damn. I messed up. I should have done that one. Note to self, look before we go on, go, do these things in the future. Doctrine of reality, uh, extra efficiency, but uses up two people. First thing first, let's execute that, get ourselves more people here. It doesn't have any requirements. Right, and we need to actually uh, visit here to do this mission and then we'll do a quick jump over to crunch as well for that one before we do the actual mission whispers behind your back I really should have looked ahead to work out what would have been blocked oh. there we go requires decision a malcontent has begun spreading insulting rumors concerning the rogue trader amongst the aristocracy I uh, proudly ignore the rumours and their spread. Why did I have to go there for that? See, I really want that, but we need extra rep with the Casabalica mission. Uh, we are landing because we are after a uh, a seal for the uh, officially obdilded. For the uh, Meritikial, Meritikial Officilia something, something. The Tablatum Officilia Mercule? Or Mercule Officil, offic yeah. Something. Keep your wits about you. Which I do believe I need to speak to Hercules Quint for. I require a surf, a seal to certify the Mercatum Tabula Officili Offica <clears throat> Whatever it's called. Of course! It would be an honor oh, to assist your ladyship. Here you are. May the Emperor bless your path. How are things on Janus? Hello, oh, without the enemies here in Orland. Wonderful, your ladyship. Wonderful. I must take my leave. Always keep your eye on the prize. Too many different things going on, guys, basically. So, I I need to pop to Footfall again to speak to the Casabella Commission. I wish there were bet. I wish they had spaces. To be fair, I should have done it. What I should have done is plowed, has done a route from each of my colonies directly to Footfall. Because that would have given me much more. Footfall is the centre of the expanse, isn't it? <clears throat> Maybe in the future, if I get lots and lots more, um, lots and lots more, uh, things going on. Devastation, oh dear, oh, and we need to do some repairs, don't we? A Drakari raid, uh, targets the planet and drags away a thousand people. Uh, enter the battle! <clears throat> We're not going to let the Drakari steal my people without a fight. How very dare they. The Emperor is on our side. Oh, they've blocked some things. Oh, and I get an escort frigate now. Yes. I don't get to control it, though. Boo. Should have dropped the torpedo first, to be fair. Right. Ah, oh, I don't have access to that one yet. Never mind. There we go. I mean, it's going to do its own thing. Even if it just provides a brief distraction. I hope it gets replaced if it gets destroyed. It's a bit of a shame I don't get to control it, really. The 
think that'll allow us to hit him. Yes! Shallow jump. Come on, come on. I've no I was about to restart shields, but they've not even been hit yet, so there's no point. Oh, that was a really stupid place to go, mate. Hang on, does my frigate have no shields? <laughs> Seems like a very bad idea. Just in, spin around. Come on, hit. Has my um, assistant frigate actually even managed to shoot yet? Oh, that's a lot of torpedoes they dropped. This should hit no, both. Is however gonna hurt. Right, my starboard shield. Now, the question is. One closer. I'm hoping that'll help me avoid the torps. I suspect it won't. Oh, one managed to dodge one lot then. I, they would have hit me before. This lot will still hit me. Ouch. Oh, they're leech topping, so they're just shield damaging my shields. Perfect. Around. I'm sure I should have been able to turn faster than that with how we had things set up. There we go. Basically, the escort class frigate is just providing uh, a decoy, which is all I really wanted to do. I mean, at least it seems to have some good weaponry on it.
tops. There's a reason I'm doing things in this order, because now I'm using them to hit. The target was well structured. Yes. I was like, why can I move my torpedoes? It wasn't my torpedoes. Just staying out of the way of their torpedoes. Strike them! Now! Oh. A lot of scrap, though. And we get an upgrade! Yeah, vulnerability scan. Ooh, actually. Oh, that's a different thing. Uh... really nice take it all to start with Any of my posts, any abilities I want to upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my shallow jump because that is very useful for us. Right. How are we for mechanisms? We're not bad on mechanisms. That's good. That ups my profit factor, increases rep. That's not bad, also increases rep. It blocks uh, flawless servitors. So I'll have a look down here. It doesn't tell me. Ah, yeah, no, it does tell me. This blocks nothing, so we're going to grab that one to up my profit factor. Ooh. Uh, Foulstone is mostly blocked due to other things. Oh, I've already blocked it with that one. When the hell did I not go for that? Oh, so basically these are just blocked because of the other... Because I don't have other things. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back looking at my ship, though, because I just gained. Uh, uh, Stargonist component fleet, torpedo trees, game for five short. Um, no. <laughs> But if we get random things like that, that's still quite useful. Okay, now we are going to head off to uh, have that little go and deal with the mission we were actually trying to do, and I completely um, ignored. Don't tell anybody. I 
actually before we go. Let's have a look at my contracts. We have plenty of people now, so I'll up my profit factor. Yeah, none of nothing there. I have anything I need, so I don't need to do any of those contracts. All right, let's travel to the place I ignored. Ah, so we're too late. Right. Uh, destroy the Xeno pirates, though. So we can still we can still have a fight, but we didn't arrive in time to save the vessel because I went off doing other things. <clears throat> Please still have an escort vessel. Please tell me I didn't just waste that in one single flurry. They don't know who they're dealing with. Yes. Facing away from me, interestingly. Should have done this first. Nice! One down already. Perfect! Um, my starboard shields. There we go. Buffing my starboard shields a bit. Because <clears throat> I did plunk myself right in front of them, but it was worth it for shot. And the frigates are still coming. So I did have the ability to potentially make them slower. My escort frigate did good! Let's... at him! They will be getting closer, so dropping my torpedo here so it's got movement. It, um, so it's got the ability to maneuver into them is good. Shallow jump, please. Port shield, there we go. <clears throat> Interestingly, going for my escort, who appears to have no shields. I couldn't buff up my escort, could I? It would be quite cool if I could buff my escort as well, but I think my escort's not going to survive again. I'll tell you what, my escort does more damage than me. I like my escort, guys. Yes. 
fast turn. Hit. Buff our forward shields. <clears throat> I think my escort's about to kill it. No boarding actions. What a shame. Nice. So, nice solid, my escort. I think some of the ones I, I was having problems with before. A, a message from Master Scalander. This time he's reporting yet another attack. The alleged location of the Z, uh, location of one of the Xeno leaders. Achilles aides have reported the leader will be heading to attack one of the paradise, the paradise world of Gratis. There is one catch. The planet belongs to Caligus Windscale, another rogue trader. Uh... Master Gallus noted the message that responding to a duress call is unlikely to be considered an incursion to somebody else's territory. Okay. So I guess we're heading to that planet. This is where you can get another seal, guys. Uh, I do believe. Uh, ooh, we don't actually have a route here. Interesting. I've got a route down to here. I am going to have to forge a route down here, guys. Ping! Yeah, that gets me onto that. Weird that there's no route. I assume... Ah, yes, because the planet which got destroyed was somewhere around here. Unidentified Imperial Void Ship. Interesting. Can scan stuff up. Deal with stuff in the system before we make landfall. Yeah, I am absolutely fine for Plasteel. What is interesting is you can definitely just attack, like, other things. An unknown ship hails you as soon as you're in detection range. The ship, the Scarlet Purser, Helmed by Captain Demir Shaheen, has footfall listed at its home port. The message hints transparently at a connection with the Commission. The docks master adds the captain has a proposal for you. Listen to the proposal. Uh, the ship lets you know they will readily reward you for any information about burning worlds. Uh, share the information you have. Hey, some, gain some favour. Ooh. Nice. Just just gain some, some stuff. I love when it puts quite clearly cargo stuff in my uh, non-cargo hold. Ooh. Okay, let's go deal with the Xeno scum. Begin scan on the Paradise World. Yes, 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 yes. Yoink! Sorry, I shouldn't be whistling. It's really bad for, for my mic, but extra Xeno tech is definitely good. <clears throat> Let us do this!
Oh, I, I'm, I mean, I can't get there. I, I think there, there may be, um, yeah. Do, do you think something bad's happened here, guys? Ooh, some Amasek. Let us see what I found. Mines. I always have a backup plan. Ooh, there's something over here in the water too. Right, up through here then. Here we go. <clears throat> no. Oh. Ah. Drakari scum. At last. You took your time coming to meet me, monkey. You can apparently get him on your crew. Hold your foul tongue, abomination. Such filth will not use that tone with the Emperor's Chosen. Why? I sent an invitation. By way of the cattle that dwelt on this world. And the Chosen has so obediently appeared. How are my words anything but the truth? One of my soft-bodied kin... What meagre offering tempted you to lower yourself to attending these animals? Or does their company remind you of being among your lost brothers and sisters? What do you know about my brothers and sisters, Dark One? <laughs> Only that they wander blind and helpless, robbed of their home and hope. <laughs> but why am I telling you this? Isn't it your duty to watch over your kin, outcast? My, my, this beast can speak our language. Speaking your language is slightly less trying for my patience than being forced to listen to a monkey machine butchering our tongue. Besides, I want you to understand well what I'm about to tell you. How is it that out of all of your kind, you're the only one to discover our feasts in advance? Usually, you're all so slow and sluggish that my kin have always been enough time to leave the battlefield before aid arrives. But still, time and time again, your dogs have been there to stand in the Cabal's way. Aggravating, is it not, having someone best you at your own game? <sighs> Do not try my patience, monkey. Void take you. Predictable. In any case, I have grown quite tired of your attempts to delay the inevitable. Whoa. Surely you two have run yourself ragged, chasing us between the stars. Let us put an end to this. Finny, you wander among the stars, so you must know of this place. An ancient reach, where the echo of stellar agony rings still. A place that serves as a graveyard for old stars, still filled with residual emissions and glittering dust. The place that buried your wreck, stuffed full of delicious, frightened monkey, and the horrors that devoured them. The threshold of our domain, your kind call it the Cinerus Maleficum. That is where our disputes will be settled. The Cabal of the Reaving Tempest will be waiting for you, monkey. Do not come unarmed. Uh, okay. One last question. I answered yours. You'll answer mine. Ooh, he will. <laughs> Very well. Amuse me.
Are you Vaughn's responsible for stealing suns? Stealing the sun? The Drakari are capable of that and much more, monkey. Gamora bathes in the light of three stars stolen by my kin. But if you think I had a hand in this or any other theft of suns, you are mistaken. Why are you, what are you doing on my planets? <laughs> because that is the way of things, monkey. You run, we hunt. You die suffering. We relish every moment of it. <laughs> when immediate torment loses its luster, and we seek ways to extract something more exquisite from our victims, well, your kin are frequent guests in my home realm, albeit not of their own volition. And it is all to prevent your putrescent souls from wasting away in the scorching corruption of Cylon Thresh. Day after day, century after century, you chase after the torment of others in hopes that the whispers of she who thirsts might fade from your ears at l Spoken by one who has willingly locked herself in a cage of rules and taboos. Tell me, Asuriani, what part of you is true, Eldari? Have you ever in your life let yourself be consumed by pure euphoria? Have you ever felt real passion? I invite you to join me. I will initiate you into the art of pain and unveil all that your paths keep hidden. It is intriguing, the Eldar, because obviously you've got the Eldari, who are, uh... You have the Asaurian, who are very much everything in control, have to be controlled, so they're not showing emotion, because that's what caused Slanesh to appear. And the Dark Elves, who just, just indulge it to, to, to please Slanesh so that she doesn't eat their soul. I suppose I should not have expected anything compelling from a monkey. Your questions breed boredom. The conversation is over. Conversations end when I say they do. Oh, monkey. <laughs> Of a Time to die, monkey. Ah, uh, I've leveled up, but I can't actually level up. Ooh. Let's do this. I, I, I do actually really like Cassia's really high, um... I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Initiative, because it means I can do stuff like this quite easily. If I may... Downside is it does mean I am stuck kind of far forward. I do realize I just missed somebody, guys. My vow is to serve. You will not withstand <laughs> my vengeance. You missed vengeance. and hit someone else. The Omnissiah knows all. Comprehends all. <laughs> yes. Right, let's get some hunt down the prey out. My competencies <clears throat> are not that universal. Damage to Ooh. Uh, lizard person, lizard person, sorry, snake person. I understand your intent. So oh, that should have been free because of an ability I had. Well, that's annoying. You've unleashed my fury. I am not your Xenos pet. There we go. And the boss lady.
Consider this a taste of what's to come. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm kind of wasting an ability, but if I stop it shooting, that's still good. I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. There we go. Lots of uh, hunt down the prey. And Genta, it's definitely flamethrower time. I'll do it. You call this a strike? As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's try and hit the blade master a bit back, back here. To you. This is why I was chosen. Doubt is for the your last stroke of luck. The shame to not allow my I'll fire do to do a bit more damage. You will pay for this in blood. <laughs> a tactically sound approach. Indeed. You call this a strike? I'll also get a few others. I will do my duty. <sighs> oh, yeah, of course they can attack on me. to you. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Yes. Die. <laughs> uh, let's buff you, Lorette. Annoying. Make things break. How dare you? Yield to me. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Foul breath. This tedium is beneath me. Let the true master inflict the pain! If I must. Go. I won't stand for it. Honestly, I feel that I've I've messed up the Lord Captain's uh, setup because she just feels a little weak when it comes to attacks. I think I should have an auto gun. I'm 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 going to try with her with a with a different gun. I refuse. 
As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. I'm not sure I hit enough times, guys. Is for the weak. Oh. At your beck and call. Have, 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 have a few extra attacks. Great hair, sure hand. An exemplary strike. Target well struck. Emperor, deliver us. Kill it. That's right. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. What a pleasure. I'm a Low momentum. I was complaining about Cassia at the start, I'm not anymore. I'll do it. That is not the Emperor's will. I will tear you. I refuse to bow. Hiding back here. Faith without deeds is worthless. Oh, you will pay for this in blood. I'll do I mean, it. You're just hiding yeah. from me. You call this a strike? <laughs> That's what we wanted. What a disgrace! <laughs> First shot at the volley killed him. Uh, let's looty loot first. I'll have a proper look at all the gear afterwards. I'm sure in the past I've been able to save people here. Absolutely sure in the past I've been able to save people here and I definitely, I came straight here so, no I didn't actually did I? Well, bugger. Is there money to be made?
I always keep my options open. Deadly precision. Intriguing bolt gun. Alright, let's look at the weapons. I'm definitely stealing that one for myself. I I literally have Drakari equipment. As a ability, I am really confused by that. Well, this is somewhat annoying. I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm meant to... Oh, let's... Hang on. Let's level up and see if I can get it. I... No, agility for the dodge. Just a little bit of leveling up. Warp law fill, please. Let's grab him some coercion and up his fellowship. No. Up his strength. No, his weapon skill, his strength is already decent. Finally pushing her weapon skill up a bit. go, everybody's leveled up. Huh. Well, it's somewhat annoying. I'm fairly sure last time I, I saved somebody here and got the seal, but maybe they've changed it. Maybe that was just uh, an alpha thing. We do have a mission to go somewhere specific, but I'm going to explore this area first. Maybe I met him somewhere else. I am a little confused by that. But anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. Um, and comments down below. Let me know if you know where the other seal is. And other than that, guys, as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T. Taru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Newbie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you all for watching. Cheers all.